<laughs> they look so cool in the reflection of the car, yellow lights and blue lights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Kings of Recreation. I'm the father. He's the son. He's out on the R3, and I pulled out the R1. We're just riding today. We wanted to go to Stockton. We wanted to go there and ride, but they're having the super bike training course, so they got the whole track ripped out, so we can't ride. This is just a good opportunity for us to get out and about, let Jay would experience the street and everything, and we're just going to cruise around today. How are you feeling, Jay? I'm feeling great. It's a little baby biker. <laughs> Yeah, I love the bike. I'm loving it. It feels so good. It's comfortable. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm, I like this bike. I'm getting more, more comfortable the more I ride it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, but overall, I'm very much, I'm very happy with this. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. You become more uh, inclined with the bike itself the more you ride it. Especially yeah. in elements like this because you're just getting used to the regular stuff. See, when we're doing the track shit, you're doing so much more. Um, yeah. There's a little bit more thinking. There's a lot more going on with it. So, uh, this is honestly easier than the track stuff. Yeah. So, this is kind of why I always wonder how it is in such a bad shape messing around on the street. I don't mean, like you said, this bike, it's like, it will get you in trouble. This bike, how you said, like, it's, it's fun enough where it won't get you in trouble if you do too much, you know? Yeah. But you get away with more things than you would on the R1 or R6. I just think that's cool to me about this, about this bike at least. Well, it's definitely more rigid. I like how it looks now with the new suspension. It is a little higher. We took that rear peg off. Well, at least one of them because the other one hangs on the exhaust and I got to get that exhaust hanger before we take that side off. But um, it looks a lot better. It looks more aggressive. It's really cool. Does it look like a baby R1? <laughs> uh, no, it actually, you know what the tail looks like? Keep going. I mean, we're going slow, buddy. Speed limit is 45. Um, it looks like a uh, baby M1, the MotoGP bike, because of the tail. The tail design is, is very slim and high. So it looks like a baby YZR M1, which is <laughs> really cool. I didn't even, I don't get to see the bike from this angle, you know what I mean? And yeah. when I'm sitting in the garage, I like the front end of the bike more when I look at it. So getting to see it like this is pretty cool. Those tank pads gripping your jeans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I will right, make the right turn. Use your blinker. Okay. Hey, look at that TST industry strolling <laughs> on you. Nice brisk morning. Jalen does have his gear on. It's under his hoodie. Um, we are going to actually get you a lot more gear. <laughs> we'll get a lot more gear here pretty soon. I mean, if we're going to be riding the streets. Man, it is pretty chilly. <laughs> yes, it is kind of chilly. <laughs> if you see, like, like for a second, it's like if you throw the foot in front of the you can see me kind of shiver a little bit. What is that? Yeah, watch out for the for the skunk. Ugh, it's gonna Ugh. stink crazy. Yeah, they do. Oh, I can smell it. <laughs> <laughs> it stinks. It stinks badly. <laughs> Just look at the view, man. Look at that. Look at the mountains over there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, when I bought my first bike, um, your mommy took me to the dealership to go pick it up. And so when we picked it up, I jumped on the freeway for the first time. And I'm looking at the ground and I'm looking at cars beside me. I'm like, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was a crazy little experience. Yeah. So it was pretty cool. Now the cold, you get used to, your body will warm up. I mean, it's just like jumping in the pool for the first time. You see all the imperfections in the road? I'm, I'm looking at that. I'm seeing like the little new pavement and stuff. The line going past on the racetrack is the safest. Going past yeah. the street <laughs> is a risk. I'm looking further ahead, like above the road, you know, at the coast that you told me, just to see what's oh, like yeah, the ground. Sure. Yeah. 
What the fuck was that? A statue or a horse? That motherfucker was standing straight the fuck up. <laughs> Wait, what? I didn't. I see something standing, but I didn't see it. <laughs> what see the, the hell? hell? I see like a black figure that way. Yeah, that was a horse. I don't know if it was a statue though. I'm glad that at least he took the um the Z01 over here, so at least I know some of it, some of this part of the road. Uh huh. So it's a nice little Sunday cruise. And I mean, how the weather is, it's it's not raining or anything, but the clouds are definitely blocking the warmth. So maybe the racetrack wouldn't have been the the warmest, okay. grippiest. So it's all good. This is a good alternative. All right. So now um. You know what we're about to do for the first time? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, and um, you're you're gonna go get up to 80, right. and you're looking straight ahead when you get on, okay? All right. All right. So you get up to speed. We'll stay here in the slow lane. All right. Run that little thing. Don't look over at me. I got you. Just keep going. All right. So Jalen is on the freeway for the first time. Shift the hips over a little more. <laughs> okay. back road a little bit on his own and learn how to it's like this right here was a great moment because as we were kind of getting up to speed Jalen happened to see the fire trucks in the emergency situation early Whoa. and he reacted perfectly he didn't really get on the brakes he just decelled and pulled far right I, I, that I, I, was, I was the about perfect fire situation that the sun man did so I was able to trust that he's got an understanding we didn't really go fast. I was just giving him a lot of pointers as to even though we're on the back road, still shift your hip off, still put your shoulders out. A turn is a turn, okay. whether it's on track or if it's on the street. So this is really cool. We got to go around. I had him get off the bike for a quick second because he was freezing. He, you know, stretch. We did a little bit of exercise and I gave him some tips as to what I wanted to see him do some more. But yeah, we went back through and then he picked up the pace just a little bit right here. You can see him leaning a little bit more and we weren't going too fast because there's a car up ahead. So we'd accelerate, go through a turn and then we decel a little bit, let that car get out and then accelerate a little bit again. So it was just a good little bit of practice just for him to get used to it. We we're riding under fog. I told him to be careful. We don't know what parts of the road is wet. That's just the elements that you deal with coming back through that emergency situation. You know, um, then I was like, all right, we're getting into warmer temperatures now because that fog finally cleared. So we just got to chill in the plane around and have a little bit of fun.
<laughs> yep. Especially the fact that both these bikes don't have no mirrors, mm -hmm. that's dangerous because you can't see each other. Right? Yeah. You can't see people around us, so you're you're telegraphing like, hey, I'm about to move over. Just in case, so even you, if there's nobody there. That yeah, no, no, I'm saying. Yeah. So yeah, we're putting the blinker on and you don't immediately move as soon as you hit the blinker. It's like blinker, clear, go. Don't go. <laughs> that was so close. I'm like, I'm like, if he wants to go over it, and I'm like, should I move? Man, this was this close. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, I stopped the bike! <laughs> I stopped the bike! <laughs> oh. Oh. I hit my dick <laughs> on the tank! <laughs> oh. Alright, so we're back and chilling. It's a little bit later. Jalen had a good time riding. Um, he was, he was pretty cold. I mean, I was top of the morning type shit right there. So he got to get used to that. But other than that, I really like looking at the R3. It was cool as hell to see him ride it. Get on the freeway, experience that for the first time. He's definitely got to learn how to get up through the gears. He was chilling at like 85 miles an hour up at 11 grand. He, he does that a lot. We're definitely going to work on that. When it ain't racing time, go through the gears. You know what I mean? So... Once we break that habit, I think he'll be pretty cool. He showed some good awareness. Again, I do want him to have mirrors. So we're gonna for sure get mirrors on this thing. Other than that, um, yeah, we've got everything on it. Tank pads, seat cowl, our rear sets, our sliders, our levers. Clip-ons will be here very shortly. Um, we got our windscreen, clutches in and done. Uh, I do wanna get some brakes. Everything that we needed done on this bike is done. And, oh, just did spark plugs yesterday. So, I mean, we got a slew of things done to this bike. It now has most of the vitals taken care of. And we know everything about it now. So, I can now put some trust in it. Of course, we didn't go to the track today because the course was rented out by the, I guess there's like a super bike school where guys teach other riders. Kind of the same thing that I'm doing with Jalen on 300 smaller bikes or I think even rentals. But we will get out there again. I think I'm off tomorrow. I don't know. I've kind of wanted to take this to the back roads myself, like a real one, like Redwood. We'll see. Who knows? But that's going to be it for this vlog. We're going to close this out. And I'll catch y'all in two.